So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Our lesson is about simplest form of radicals. A radical is in its simplest form if, number one, the radicand does not contain a perfect square, a perfect cube, or the n power. So let us see in the given if that is in simplest form or not in simplest form. The square root of 12 that is not in the simplest form. If we try to simplify, that becomes the factor of 12 having the perfect square that is equal to 4 times 3. And then the square root of 4 that is equal to 2 and we have no perfect square for 3. So it means the final answer that is 2 square root of 3. And 2 square root of 3 is in simplest form because the radicand does not contain a perfect square. 3 does not contain a perfect square. So 2 square root of 3 is in simplest form, while the square root of 12, that is not in the simplest form. How about number 2? Square root of 4y to the 7th power, it is not in the simplest form. If we try to get the simplest form, let us solve. So square root of 4, while the value of y, we have 2, 4, 6, Sobra isa to get 7. Again, 2, 4, 6. Sobra isa. So y to the 6 times y to the 1. That is also equal to y to the 7. So the square root of 4, that is equal to 2. The square root of y to the 6, that is 6 divided by 2. That is equal to 3. And then copy the square root of y. Square root of y, the radicand, this radicand does not contain a perfect square. So this is in simplest form. How about number 3? Number 3, square root of 8, 8a raised to the 5th power, it is not in the simplest form. Because the radicand contain a perfect square. So what could be the factor of 8 having the perfect square? That is 4 times 2. Well, the factor of 8 to the 5th having the perfect square, that is 2, 4. So, 8 to the 4, sobra isa. So, it means the square root of 4, that is equal to 2. 8 to the 4th, so 4 divided by 2, that is a squared. And then, 2, wala nang perfect, let us write. A, wala nang perfect, so let us write. So, that is 2a squared, square root of 2a. And then 2a, this radicand does not contain a perfect square. So this one is in simplest form. Second, a radical is in simplest form if there is no fraction in the radicand or the denominator is not a radical. So let us see in a different example if that is in a simplest form or not in the simplest form. Number 1, square root of 7 all over square root of 2. It is not in the simplest form because there is a fraction in the radical. So to make it in the simplest form, if we multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of 2, that becomes square root of 14 all over 2. So that could be the simplest form. How about number 2? Number 2, 3 over cube root of 4. This is not in the simplest form because in the denominator, there is a radical. So if that is the case, that is not in the simplest form. If we try to get the simplest form, let us multiply by the cube root of 2. So that becomes 3 cube root of 2 over 2. So, 3 cube root of 2 over 2 is in simplest form. So, there's no fraction in the radical, and also in the denominator, there is no radical. Okay, next. Number 3. X square root of Y all over square root of A. So, again, there's no fraction in the radical. So, this one is not in the simplest form because fraction is in the radical. So, to make it simplest form, 
multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of a. So that becomes x square root of a y all over a. So this one, there is no fraction in the radical and the denominator is not a radical. A radical in its simplest form, if number 3, the index of the radical is the lowest possible index. Let us see if the given is in a simplest form or not in the simplest form. In example number 1, cube root of the x to the fifth power. So it means the index 3, it should be the lowest possible index rather than the exponent of x. So 5 is higher than the index. It should be lower than the index. So it means what could be the simplest form of the cube root of x to the fifth power? So it means if we divide 5 divided by 3, so ilalabas natin ang exponent ni x, that is 1, and then our remainder, yung sobra, that is 2. So the final answer in a simplest form, that is x, cube root of x squared. How about number 2? Cube root of 3 to the 4th power. So it means, ilan ba yung 3 na ilalabas natin? 4 divided by 3, that is 1. So 3 to the 1. And then ilan ang sobra? Isa. So 3 cube root of 3. How about number 3? P root of A to the 6, B to the 4th power, it is not in the simplest form. Because 5 that is the lowest possible index should be rather than the radicand. The given radicand of b to the fourth, if this is p root of b to the fourth, that is in a simplest form. But we have p root of a to the sixth, that is not in the simplest form because the exponent is of the radicand is higher than the index. So let us get the simplest form. p root of a to the sixth, it it means 6 divided by 5, that is 1. So, A, sobra isa. And then, 4 divided by 5 cannot be. So, let, let us copy B to the 4th. So, the final answer is A, P root of AB to the 4th power. So, a radical in a simplest form, let us recall first the radical does not contain a perfect square, perfect cube, or n power. Second, there is no fraction in the radicand, or the denominator is not a radical. And then third, it is in simplest form when the index of the radical is the lowest possible index. Let us identify if the following is in a simplest form or not in the simplest form. First, square root of 45. Square root of 45, it is not in the simplest form. Why? There is a factor of 45 having the perfect square. How about 5 square root of 5? That is in simplest form. Because 5, there is no factor that is a perfect square. So it means this is in simplest form. How about 3 square root of 11? 3 square root of 11, it is in simplest form. Because there is no a factor of 11 having the perfect square, or 11 is not in a perfect square. Next, 4 over square root of 2. 4 is over square root of 2 is not in the simplest form. Because there is a radical in the denominator. It should be no radical in the denominator to make it in a simplest form. Next, 4 plus the square root of y all over 5 minus the square root of a. This is not in the simplest form because there is a radical in the denominator. So as you can see in the wool, there is a fraction in the radical. Okay, next, 23 plus 9 square root of 3 over 22, it is in simplest form. Let us apply what you have learned instruction. Identify if the given radical is not in the simplest form or in simplest form. Provide your answers in the comment section.
Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.